In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as we gather together to celebrate this giant of Antioch, we encounter a young girl, 15 years of age, who was without a mother from her childhood and raised by a Christian nanny. And through this woman, she found Christ, our God. Because of this, her pagan father disowned her, and shortly after, she was betrayed to the governor as a Christian. Because of her extreme beauty, the governor sought to convince her to join him in worshiping idols, that she might have a beautiful long life. But she refused, saying that she was a Christian. Because of this, she was subjected to inhumane tortures, beaten, and at one point put on a board and her innards ripped apart with giant hooks. This torture was so horrific that the governor himself had to turn away. He couldn't even look at the handiwork of what he had commanded. And still, she would not relent. It should be noted that Saint Marina did all this despite the fact that she had never been baptized. For though she confessed Christ, she had not been able to be dipped into the holy springs of baptism. Nevertheless, she confessed her faith in Christ. That evening, in her cell, demons came to her to attempt to convince her to reject Christ. After all, what had Christ ever done for her? Look at where she was, tortured, dying from these wounds. And yet, Marina, in her courage, in her faith, took up a hammer that happened to be lying in her cell and beat the demon back. Can you imagine that? The terror that most of us would have faced being confronted with this ugliness, with this evil, and she courageously confronts it. After this, an angel appeared to her and healed her wounds. The next day, instead of seeing this as a miracle, instead of transferring his hatred into love for Christ, the governor continued his torture, tied her to a tree, and burned her. As she was burning and barely alive, Saint Marina said, Lord, I thank you that I am cleansed in this fire. May I also be worthy of the water of baptism. Hearing the word water, the governor asked for a cauldron to be brought that she may be boiled and drowned. And as soon as she was immersed in the water, a dove came from heaven carrying a golden crown in its beak and alighted upon her. A light shined on her and all those present, and immediately she was healed of all of her wounds and stood unharmed in the water. And many believed in her because of this. So enraged was the governor by this that he ordered that all be put to death who believed in Christ in his governorship. And according to tradition, 15,000 people were executed for their Christian faith because of this. Saint Marina, who would not relent in her faith, was beheaded. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this 15-year-old child showed more pluck, more courage, more faith than any of us. During our times of tribulation and worry, we are quick to fall back. We are quick to say, oh, this is too much. She took on the yoke 
of Christianity prior to even being baptized gave her life for her Christ. She was so full of faith that even the armies of hell could not prevail against her. It is for this reason that St. Marina is invoked, especially when it comes to the cases of demonic possession. For she is fearless, a fearless warrior of Christ our God. And we pray that she, through her courage and her unrelenting passion for Christ, chase away all demonic attacks against us that seek to keep us from our Christ, that seek to keep us away from his love and his church and each other. May St. Marina intercede for all of us and keep us safe. In the name of the Father, and the Son,